WYBF-FM's Cabrini's award-winning radio station recently celebrated its 25th anniversary. WYBF-FM's birthday party was held in the communications wing in Founders Hall on September 24, 2016. The event featured food, games, music, and tons of prizes. Current WYBF staff and alumni got to share their favorite memories as well as reflect on how the station has changed over time. I think it's just a different culture. The, you know, the university is now a university, not a college. The name has changed for the radio station, and, uh, but there's a lot of things that are still the same. Uh, same vibe, same commitment, it looks like, and uh, same energy, which is nice. Back then, there was no computer. Everything had to be done by hand, timing through CDs, like ending one song, bringing another song up, almost like a DJ. So you really had to focus and you had to know your, your audience and your playlist. And they gave us basically just um, a nice primer to learn how to be professional when it came to uh, radio and communications. We did a, um, we had a fundraiser for Haiti. It was after the Haiti earthquake. And I think it was in 2010. And um, we had this 24 hour broadcast um, and we were raising money to send for relief efforts to go to Haiti. So it was all hands on deck at WYBF. And I remember being up really late and we just had this dance party impromptu in the on-air studio. Rebuilding the years that I, was, I started. So we kind of went from a small, maybe eight to 10 person staff and we were growing it to about a 40 person staff when I left. So it was a rebuilding, refocusing, re-energizing and uh, trying to get people back involved and to get involved in the campus more. It was very big in doing things on campus with campus groups. So that way we felt like we were a part of the community instead of an outsider. My favorite memory is more like a traumatic memory <laughs> that involves my husband. And I remember that um, each time we would get on air, me and another woman that I was on the air with, we would want to play Peter Gabriel, but we were an alternative station. Well, because at the time, alternative was still some kind of weird, like, you know, this, this was 89 or so, or 90. People were like, what, I, what, new awful alternative music, that's, you know, I still want to play, you know, Def Leppard and, and OMD and, you know, stuff like that, George Michael, I don't want to play, you know, The Cure or all this weird alternative stuff. So there was a lot of pushback. And we used to have our music played on carts. And so we would put a cart in and always, you know, during my time on the show, I would put in Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. Someone would finish up their shift and play it at, at 55 after the hour. And then at two minutes into the hour, they played In Your Eyes again. So I thought, what am I going to do about this? It's crazy. So we had a meeting. We had all the, all the DJs were in, in all the staff and everybody. So I walked in with the cart. We had the carts back then of Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. And I said, see this? And I like, threw it on the floor and stepped on it and smashed it. <laughs> and it was so traumatic. But, you know, it's something I'll always remember. And it's still something that we laugh about today. There's not a lot of differences between the student population when I was a student to now, only because students still want to have their own radio show. Students still want to make those lasting connections with friends. And they, you know, just want to do something that's important to them and something that they can you know claim their stake on and you know really just put passion into so for in that sense that's how WIBF is still the same um, it's different because the students come up with these great ideas um, you know they want to hold a huge event in this in the spring semester so now we're fundraising and you know we didn't really fundraise when I was here so you know just making sure that we're you know doing everything that we can to get WIBF um, to be a prominent organization on campus.